it, it, it was it was a cool experience uh, just seeing how like how crappy of a venue uh you know bands like green day would play uh, as they were coming up it really reminded me of the shitty uh venues that we have here like for example there's there's a, a really dingy um uh, place in Anaheim called Chain Reaction. Oh, I love that place. Yeah, well, I don't, unfortunately. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> it, well, if if you're in a band and you know better, mm-hmm. you'll learn to not like it. I, I don't hate it. Oh, you're place. in a band. I'm thinking of it as an audience As an member. audience member, yeah, and I understand what that. What sucks about it? Well, I, they, they, they embraced the entire pay-to-play model, which we've talked about a couple times on this podcast in, in, in one of the earlier, a few of the earlier episodes where um, the pay-to-play model is where you, if you're in a band and you want to play this venue, um, they won't pay you. It's the other way around where you're either selling tickets at an unreasonable price and an unreasonable amount of tickets mm-hmm. um, and you don't really earn anything as a band member. You're hustling to get people out there. But when it comes down to it, if you're a band that nobody knows, um, you're only really going to get your aunts, your grandma, your mom, you know, just your immediate family members uh, to fork over like 10 bucks a, a pop. Um, and then on top of that, because that particular venue doesn't embrace or at least doesn't promote the camaraderie amongst the musicians, a lot of musicians don't stick around to see the other musicians. So it doesn't really it doesn't really foster a good environment that says, hey, uh, I'm going to play, but then now I'm going to watch you play and maybe we can network and we can play other shows elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just like, all right, you know, you're in, you're out. And then thus the audience is that way too. Like if somebody brings their immediate family members to go see your band play, they're going to bounce right after your band plays as opposed to enjoying $10 worth of the rest of the night that they forked over. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't help that they don't have sell alcohol either. So that kind of... Oh, they don't. No, it's an all ages joint oh so. shit i didn't even realize that's right i was gonna yeah. say i drank something there oh it was a white mountain dew <laughs> <laughs> you just fooled yourself and thinking it was a gin and tonic yeah <laughs> yeah so so that was cool i mean uh I'm going back to the bay area talk <laughs> um napa the wines were, were dope um and then uh we we i had this like bacon and wine pairing what? With the wife, um, yeah. So they, it was really good. That sounds they, awful. Uh, do you not like <laughs> I bacon? Hate, I hate bacon. Oh, I know, I know. People hate me for it, but think <sighs> about it. If somebody ever goes out to eat with me, they get all my bacon. I have. This is true. This all, is right, all right, you know what I mean. Okay, no, you that's, shut me it's up. It's a sell. It, damn, <laughs> damn. You make a point. You make a point. Yeah. Jeez. No, that's a good point. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, well, for those who enjoy bacon, like you know, um, regularly. Uh, they gave you these different types of bacon and different types of wine. So that'd be like a cedar wood bacon, uh, honey and sriracha bacon or something like that. Oh. And, and paired up with a specific type of wine. That matches. And with it, it was really good. Oh. It was, I was very impressed and very buzzed. You so, fancy. <laughs> you so fancy. Yeah, dude. It, it was, um, does wine get you drunk experience. fast? That wine did. It was, I, I understand it was like a particularly high content wine. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, I went on a wine walk. The wine walk, yeah, that one that I oh, met yeah, you guys. Oh yeah, you yeah. met me, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was, I threw up all night. Oh. I drank so much wine. Ooh. And that the bike shop, they were giving us margaritas. So, oh yeah, that's and right. that yeah. was the last. And I and I dropped it. I was just not there. <laughs> oh, you're a mess. I was a mess, and then I threw up, and it was so, yeah. Really let's bad. talk about that. <laughs> you, you, and two of your buddies uh, were walking around, yeah. and you guys checked out my band, The Fallen Electric. And you guys stuck around for a little while. <laughs> we're like, wow, we have people enjoying this. Yeah, you, you no, guys you guys were awesome. Good. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a it was a fun day. Um, you know, with everybody just walking around with wine and uh-huh. getting all trashed on the street, <laughs> on just this little street in Covina. Yeah, <laughs> was that was cool. awesome. It was really fun for twenty bucks. Like, w- wow, what a steal! I've done that walk too. And, and there was food at every place. Yeah. Like so much good food. Yeah, and everyone's awesome. just down to party every place you go to. Too. Yeah, there's a like, lot yeah. of milfs everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the way the the drive back kind of sucked because people, as you approach LA, you know, people start to forget how to drive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like there was this there was this thing where there was this um, there was two trucks, and then one truck was going like fifty five, the other one was going probably fifty six, and wanted to like pass them up, but there's only two lanes, so now he they created this wall. Like one's trying to one truck's trying to pass the other. Mm-hmm. And um, and then they just created this entire backup of traffic on the way back on the five freeway or one of the highways up there, um, and that 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 was just that's just annoying. 
Um, and, and that's just one guy I can't hang out with, the guy who's not aware of everybody else around him when he's driving. <sighs> like, for example, the, when, you, when you're getting, like, let's just say you just left the mall, at least with me, because I have, like, high anxiety when, with, when I see other people waiting on me. Like, when I get in my car and somebody's waiting on my parking spot, I'm fucking yeah. getting the fuck out I of feel, there. I feel really bad. Like, oh, fuck, I'm slow. Yeah. 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 Meanwhile, you get this, you get wow. other people that just chill in there. Like, it's their time to check their phone. Yeah. And yeah, I can't. That's me. I can't. Yeah. Make, yeah. Fuck that. Make fuck them wait. that's you. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I want. Well, Josh, <laughs> this concludes. Don't be a dick. Oh. All right. I didn't think I was going to be talking about you, but. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> but um, I was checking out the news the other day, and uh, did you hear, Bella, that. Or are you familiar with WWE wrestlers? Uh, no. Not really? No. 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 Are you familiar at all with Kane, the wrestler? Kane? Yeah. He's like this. He used to be a masked wrestler. He's not anymore, right? Mm-hmm. No, no, as no. I know. Yeah, he used to, like, he used to always wear a mask. He would have, like, um, I think he had a wig. Or he had long. I, he did have long he had hair. Long hair, yeah. Um, and it was like black and red. But he always had the mask for years mm-hmm. until he finally like took it off. The narrative was that he was the Undertaker's little little brother. Yeah, and, that was the and narrative. And when they were kids, the Undertaker like I guess burned his face or something or like some, that, or something deformed like that. his or face. Deformed his face. He and wore, that's why he wore the mask. He wore the mask. So he was like the the monster, and um, they're about the same size. Mm-hmm. So like he also shared the choke slam with the Undertaker. Yeah, and, they both had the same choke the slam. Choke slam. Yeah, where he picks you up and then he slams you. It's pretty self-explanatory, uh, but uh, he is now—he's now gotten elected as mayor of Tennessee's Knox County. Is what I saw. What the fuck? I know. <laughs> he's a mayor. He's so a mayor. now he's a mayor, and his real name is Glenn Jacobs. He's a WWE wrestler known as Kane. He's won the bout for mayor, and uh, and I fucking love it when um, like journalists use words that like punny fucking words he, oh, that describe no. <laughs> like he oh, won the no. bout. Uh, <laughs> for mayor <laughs> in Tennessee's third largest county. So he's he's a Republican who also runs a, an insurance and real estate company. Um, and he was leading uh, the, the Democratic candidate back then by a large margin. So either she was really fucking up or everybody really likes WWE. <laughs> 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 So uh, and he's only fifty one year old, uh, fifty one years old. He ran on issues keeping taxes low, improving infrastructure, and transparency of government. Just kind of like just telling it how it is. Did he kind of threaten them that if they didn't vote for him, he was going to choke slam them? Um, do the probably. Yeah. I mean, uh, I I uh, I would hope so because <laughs> didn't Schwarzenegger when he when he um, when he ran for governor here in California wasn't he using a bunch of like Conan the Barbarian puns and shit? Uh, like that? He was like using Conan. He was using Terminator <laughs> puns. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's where we got governator. Remember, that's, that's where we right. got, that's where we got the term governator from because they used that in his campaign and it, shit, right. it worked. So, I mean, but you know what? Kane's not really the only the only wrestler to become you know t- to take public office. That's right. Um, there's actually well, Jesse Ventura. Um, he's an older older wrestler, but he was the governor of Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Jesse the Matt. Jesse, he, and you can actually see him in the movie Predator. If you've ever seen the movie Predator. You know the man that carries the big, huge machine gun. Fuck, I haven't seen that movie in so long. If you re- if you rewatch it, he's he's one of the guys that's in Arnold Schwarzenegger's unit. Oh, what the fuck! And he's the guy with the cowboy hat uh-huh. and the big gun that just shoots it in the middle of the <laughs> jungle. Uh-huh. That's Jesse the Man Ventor. That <laughs> is the Holy governor shit. of Minnesota. Right oh <laughs> but now former. he lives in like Mexico. Yeah, yeah. He said, fuck, he, fuck USA. Yeah, yeah, so like he totally lost interest or at least faith in the United States. Um, very, uh, he's like really into conspiracy theories and, and things like that. He's I gotten a little so. loopy over the yeah, years. Yeah, I think too many choke slams on the mat kind of uh, yeah. <laughs> messed him a little. But, yeah. you know, yeah, that's that's crazy though. Damn. I mean, shit. I mean, if he does a good job, I mean, kudos. President? <laughs> President <laughs> King? I don't want President King. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't want man. President King. We got a Things are weird enough right now. <laughs> we already got the Oompa Loompa in office. We can have President Kane. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> he has to come in the mask, though. Um, I understand. You have a story? Yeah. So, Josh? you know, every once in a while, I kind of like to bring up something that kind of, you know, irks me a little or something that I notice in society that's just like, why? So, you know, have you heard of this uh, In My Feelings Challenge? No, I have not. You haven't. Okay, so um, there's a Drake, the, the artist Drake, okay. the hip-hop artist. He he has a new album, uh, Scorpion. So in the song, one of the songs, it's called um, 
it's it's in my feelings it's the name mm-hmm. of the song and he has a person named kiki in the song so in the you know he has a beat it says kiki are you driving da 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 so then a uh, a famous streamer by the name of shiggy um, uh-huh. He's on Instagram. Uh, he started like doing like a dance to that song in the middle of the street oh, while shit. cars were kind of flying behind him. Uh-huh. But he was like dancing to the song, and he's just like, "Why don't you guys do the shiggy, you know, on in, in mm-hmm. Instagram and do better?" So people were doing the dance, you know, in different variations, and then all it took was just for one person to do a variation one where, asshole. yes, one asshole where you get the variation is you play the song on your car radio, uh-huh. you get out of your car while the car is still rolling, and you start dancing oh, while the car God, is still that's rolling. So stupid. And this used to be a term called ghost riding the whip. Yeah, um, back, I mean, back when I was young, and it was called it ghost, was called riding, ghost the whip. riding the whip, where you mm. would get out of the car and the. The car would drive and itself. That was, that, was a, that was a song, too, was it not? Yeah, it was, day, it was E-40. It was an E-40 song. So, you know, things have been happening with this thing. You know, people have been... Mm-hmm. Their cars have been, you know, getting destroyed because, obviously, they're just letting it roll. And some people are doing it, like, on hills, mm-hmm. on slopes. So, I mean, come on, people. Physics. Physics. <laughs> it, it just rolls down. It crashes. Another one, um, a guy is... You know, he gets out of the car. Mm-hmm. He's dancing. And then he's supposed to jump on his buddy's other car's hood so oh, he, Fuck, he the, the other buddy was supposed to drive really lo- slow and then he was supposed to jump up on the car and keep dancing well didn't go out that way oh. instead he actually Fuck. tripped um going face first and while the car was coming he slammed his face the car hit him while he was as he was falling oh, and so he kind of like took off with it he was fine he had some <laughs> oh, bruises and scrapes it wasn't that bad <laughs> <sighs> i mean it wasn't he didn't get that bad he was actually on jimmy kimmel talking about okay. it recently wow well, this, he got uh, to see jimmy kimmel for doing that yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i mean and wasn't there a girl that like ran over her leg yeah, a girl ran over her leg. Her own leg with her own car. With her own car. Um, and you know what? It got, it's gotten so out of hand. The Department of Transportation for the national government, the federal government even, has you know let out a warning. Everyone, please stay in your cars. Do not exit <laughs> your vehicles. Mm-hmm. And then there's – so the thing that really got to me was, okay, you know what? I understand everyone's doing you know, a funny challenge, but – one, why do it in traffic when we, you know, there's empty lots. You can go to an empty lot. It still has the same effect. No one needs to know. Yeah, see. they're doing it in, like, busy traffic. Yeah, and shit. <laughs> in traffic. Like, even some people are doing it as uh-huh. cars are behind them. And you can hear them honk. And you, there's videos of people who are like, oh, shit, jumping back in the car because people are fucking honking. And... Has someone gotten killed yet doing this? Um, you know what? I'm not 100% sure. I'll look into that. I but feel like it takes yet. one of those. And, yeah. and then it stops. Well, the government decided, you know what, let's put an announcement on there. So you know how they have those signs on the freeways now, like mm-hmm. those digital signs that say... PSAs. Um, those PSAs, like say, pull over to the side of the road if you're uh-huh. in an accident, blah, blah, blah. Well, the government decided to post one that says, buckle up, Kiki, stay in your car. Oh, wow. And, and, <laughs> and, you know. and seeing that... <laughs> I feel like there's a better use for this type of sign than just telling people to stay in their goddamn cars and stop doing a stupid dance challenge. And it just makes me want to flip the goddamn... Flip the table, man. It just makes me want to flip the goddamn coffee table, man. The goddamn coffee table. Well, yeah, that's pretty stupid. It, it, well, you know, you had to stop at the the part where they just changed the name altogether. It's still ghost riding. It's still the whip ghost riding the whip. <laughs> it's still ghost riding the whip. And I mean, hey, when was that a thing? Uh, let's see. It was probably like ten years ago. I think we're aging ourselves here, man. <laughs> Give or take. <laughs> you know, yeah, ten years ago. Well, yeah, like oh eight, oh eight, oh seven, oh eight, around there, more or less. Yeah, more or there. less. Yeah. Yeah, that's when E40 was at his uh, at his height popularity, height of his powers, height of his powers. <laughs> but you know what, man? Hey, I I think of this a little bit as natural selection. Yeah, you well, know, because hey, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Just thin out the herd. <sighs> well, you want to talk about sports now, man? Yes, thank right, you. Here we go. The sports with Josh. What's up, everybody? Hi, Josh. Every time? Every yeah. time. 
you suck. Well, 